Hey YouTube, uh, Wet Movie One here, coming by with a Blu-ray update right now. Um, I show, I shown, I did a video yesterday, okay, showing you what I've got, and uh, there was a stack of stuff, a little stack of stuff here, that I uh, forgot to show in the video that I shot yesterday. So I'm just gonna show you, show you them now, and then after I show you these ones, you'll see the video I made yesterday. Yeah, because the, the video I made yesterday, I went through a lot of, like, stuff I got over the past couple of months. And, uh, like, I really didn't talk about them, really. I just sort of just went, like, here it is, here's this, here's that, click, here's this, here's that, click. So I can, you know, get them listed into my little book and, you know, put them on the shelf and stuff. So, yeah, you'll still see that video after I'm done talking about the ones, the little stack here that I forgot to talk about. And, uh, yeah, the first one up here, guys, is uh, Machete. The new Robert Rodriguez movie starring starring Danny Trejo and Lindsay Lohan and Michelle Rodriguez and Jessica Alba and uh, Robert De Niro obviously and uh, it's really cool um, you know 70s you know exploitation throwback stuff and uh, it's just really cool I, th I hope Danny Trejo gets more work from this you know I mean here he gets a, he gets a shit ton of work anyway I'm talking about more leading man ro material because I thought I thought he was badass in this movie this movie is over the top action. It's just hell, a hell of a hell of a fun time. It's more to me, or that, not not just to me, but it's more of a guy movie than it is a late, you know, a women, a woman movie. Because the people at my blockbuster, the ladies were like, "What the hell is this shit?" And the guys were like, "Yeah, this movie rocks." So I'm like, "Yeah, that's the audience, yo." You know. But I just thought, I thought it was really cool that one scene when he's in the doctor's, you know, the hospital or whatever. And he, you know, has this thing, and he's cutting people, and he cuts this guy's stomach open, and he, like, pulls out his intestines, and, you know, swings down to the next next floor with the, the guy's intestines and shit. The action is cool, like the beginning, when, all, when he turns around and chops off all these guys' heads and shit. And Cheech Marin in this movie, he steals, the, he steals the, each scene that he is in in this movie. It's just, it's really cool. Machete, I suggest you guys check this one out. I picked it up at Target. I would, I would have liked to pay a little bit less for it because I know I'm probably going to double dip on this because there's probably going to be another edition of this movie in the next couple months because there's really no special features on this thing. There's like a, some deleted scenes and... Yeah, it was, yeah, deleted scenes in that... What's it called? The audience track where you get to hear the audience. Instead of watching the movie, you can just listen to the people laughing and going, oh my god, and shit like that. Like there was on The Grindhouse, I believe. But yeah, this is highly, highly enjoyable. I recommend all the guys to check this one out. And this next one up, I know Sean's going to go, holy shit, finally he got it. He drove me crazy for like days about this fucking movie, and he didn't buy it. And uh, I finally did. I got it off Amazon. It was, what, like 12 bucks altogether, with, you know, with shipping and everything. And it's Step Up 3, or Step Up 3D, whatever. It's not a 3D DVD, but it's a... Uh, Blu-ray DVD uh, combo thing. I'm pissed that it didn't come with a slipcase when I ordered it off Amazon, but I don't give a shit. It was like you know, 12 bucks cheaper than I it would have been, 12 or 13 bucks cheaper than it would have been the the week that it came out. And yes, Sean, I have it now. <laughs> I did not. I'm not gonna go on and on about it anymore. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I am. The dancing's cool. The act. If you guys are like Brittany, why the fuck did you buy this? Why are you talking about this movie? I'm not buying it for the acting. I am not buying it for the storyline. I'm buying it for the cool dancing and the, you know, the, the you know, the cool dance, dance, the dance sequences. What else are you buying this movie for? Uh, you know, the two, two of the characters are talking next to an ice cream truck. And there's like this nice little dance scene that, you know, rem, you know, reminds me of old school, you know, old school movies like Dick Van Dyke. How Dick Van Dyke would have danced, like nice little dance sequence and everything. You know, it's, it's cool. If you like dancing movies, check this one out. I rented part two. Didn't care for part two. I don't remember really caring for part one, but this one was cool. You know, for the dancing and stuff like that. I'm not watching it for storyline or acting and shit. Same, sort of the same thing with this one, but it was cool. And that that is Piranha. One of the best, cheesiest movies I've seen in a long time. The remake of the 70's Roger Corman movie. Which I haven't seen in a long time either. But I really, really enjoyed this one, Piranha. I know it came out in the, uh, you know, Blu-ray 3D also and shit. But I don't have no 3D TV. No point of spending extra 10 or 12 bucks for the, you know, 3D one. But, oh, sorry, damn plastic bag. Uh, I, this is really enjoyable to me. I rented it at my store. Bought it the day it came out. Yeah, not at my store, but I bought it the day it came out for $16.99 at Fry's. 
Um, like I told, you know, I it was actually 23 something at Fry's. And of course I told the guys and they price matched it for me. They called they called Best Buy and stuff, but the fucking idiot that called Best Buy called about the regular DVD cuz he doesn't know the difference between DVD and Blu-ray. So he price matched it for me for the DVD price that of, you know, the sale price of the DVD when it came out for Best Buy, which is 16.99 for a Blu-ray and it should have been like 20 something. But hey, it's only a little only a few bucks, but you know what? Fuck it, you know, 16.99. It's really cool in here. Christopher Lloyd's awesome. I wish I saw this in the movie theaters in 3D. And uh, there's like a feature length, you know, feature length behind the scenes thing. And there's like a 10 part featurette. But it's like, you know, an hour and 40 something minutes, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, actually, I, I, didn't, I can't say I can't say that because I only watched a few minutes of it. But there's a commentary on with, a commentary on it with uh, the director and some producers, which I'm in the middle of right now. And the director sort of sounds like a fucking pervert in the commentary. He's talking about, oh my god, I kissed her because I saw her big boobs. I liked her big cleavage, her cleavage. Not not like that, but he was talking about how, how he, you know, how, you know, cast this one person because she had, you know, fat ass cleavage and shit. I'm like, and there's a, there's a woman producer in the room as they're recording the commentary and she's like, uh... Can we talk about this person now or this thing, this scene now? It's, it's kind of funny, but Piranha Dude, highly, highly enjoyable. Check this one out, rent it, buy it, whatever you want to do, but check this shit out. And there's a scene. Sorry, I'm going on and on now, because in in the other part of this video, I didn't go on and on about fucking anything really. But uh, in this, there's a scene when um <laughs> a guy gets his cock, you know, his his dick, you know, by bitten off, and it's floating in the water. And the piranha, like, you know, two piranha go after it, and like, one of them swallows it. And then, then the one, the piranha that swallowed it spits, it, spits it, spits it out and shit. I thought that shit was funny as shit. <laughs> That's piranha. Check that shit out. That shit's awesome. And uh, next up, I picked up at Best Buy, because it was twelve ninety nine or something. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. And when it first came out, it was like 20-something. And I, I wanted it since it came out. I'm a big fan, and I picked it up for Bloodsport and Time Cop, a uh, double feature on Blu-ray. I picked it up for uh, Bloodsport, and uh, I haven't seen Time Cop in a dec a fucking like a decade or something, but Bloodsport's always cool, and uh, it stars, uh, of course, John claude Van Damme and uh, Bolo Yen, which is he's pretty cool too. He was in uh, Into the Dragon and shit, but yeah, check out these two, or you know, Bloodsport at least, it's like twelve twelve ninety nine. I wasn't gonna spend twenty something on that shit, and uh, this other movie right here. Was a uh, seven ninety nine at a recent Best Buy sale. Uh, there's there's other ones I'm gonna show you later on in this video that I shot yesterday. But this was part of the seven ninety nine deal, which was Bad Boys, and it was cool because it came with the slip case. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this one's always cool. With I think Jerry Bruckheimer, no Michael Bay movie. Sorry, I'm gonna say Jerry Bruckheimer. But yeah, Michael Bay movie, and uh, it would be cool if Part Two came out on Blu-ray. Also, I thought I thought the transfer on this was decent. It could have been maybe a little bit better, but. I'm still happy with it. And yeah, that is bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And uh, this next one right here, I uh, picked up when last time I was hanging out with Sean at Walmart. And uh, actually, I've I, I never seen it on Blu-ray since then. And that is uh, A Walk in My Shoes. Uh, it's like a Walmart exclusive. I thought it was like a Christian movie, like a whole, like, you know, Jesus this, Jesus that, and stuff like that. But it's uh, actually a nice little movie. I, I, can't, I, I can't think right now. But if you see it anywhere for, you know, like 10 bucks or less, it's, it's, it's a really nice little touching, little sweet little movie. It's a DVD, Blu-ray soundtrack and shit. It's, it's, it was pretty cool. And uh, last up here before I show you the stuff that I shot yesterday is uh, what's it called Bragging Rights 2010, the WWE Blu-ray. That just uh, recently came out to Best Buy, and yes, I did pay twenty four ninety nine for it. They're never really on sale, unless you wait and wait and wait, and then it comes out. You know, not not at Best Buy, because at Best Buy they get them exclusively for like a couple months, and then it comes out you know worldwide or whatever, and you know like everywhere. And uh, even then, they're they're not that cheap to get. But yeah, I haven't opened it yet. But I want to check it out because I don't really watch wrestling on television anymore. But I've been, you know, getting to these, uh, you know, WWE Blu-rays recently and shit. And there's there's one I want to get, Survivor, Survivor Series 2010, which I'm going to save up for and grab that one before it's gone at Best Buy. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming by. And check out 
the next part of this that I shot yesterday. But the first one up here, talked about an unbubbling with the Air Mariachi and the Desperado double feature. I thought uh, Desperado looked really good on Blu-ray. And the Blu-ray did help out El Mariachi, a, you know, a bit. But, it, you know, it was shot, like, on video or something, and it was transferred it to film. It was shot for... El Mariachi was shot for $7,000. And the Desperado was shot for $7 million. But it's 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 really cool. That, you know, it's a, one of those good ones you need to check out on uh, Blu-ray. Desperado, definitely. Uh, El Mariachi is still cool, and there's commentary tracks on both of the movies. So, yeah. Uh, next up here, I haven't yet watched yet. The Rush Hour, Blu-ray, anything Jackie Chan, I'm going to be getting it on Blu-ray. I don't care. I love this movie. You know, don't mess with a black man stereo, boy. <laughs> and uh, over here is another one, Almost Famous. Uh, I heard there's like another edition of it coming uh, to the States. This one, this is all, you know, this one plays in all players that I believe. It played in mine. And uh, yeah, there's another edition of it coming out. So I'm like, what the I just, what the fuck? You know, but Almost Famous is a good movie about a kid, you know, want to be a, you know, a rock and roll writer, you know, like, from Rolling Stone and stuff like that. It's really cool. The music's amazing in that. I've been, uh, all getting all up into these, you know, WWE uh, Blu-rays that have been coming out exclusively, exclusively to Best Buy first, and then they, you know, put them out everywhere. First I got up was SummerSlam uh, 2010, and uh, Hell in the Cell 2010, which uh, Gabriel bought for me. Because I traded him, like a st I gave him like a steel book and a DVD of something, and he got me this. So yeah, that's this, and I have another one, but I'll show that in some other update or something. And uh, yeah, next up is a movie that I thought was awesome. I rented it from my store, you know, like a week or two before it came out, because Blockbuster gets stuff a few weeks earlier. And uh, sometimes it's like a few days, but yeah. I watched it and I'm like, holy crap! Ben Affleck was awesome in this. He's 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 a pretty good director, man. And I picked up the extended edition of uh, the the town. I'm yeah, I've yet to watch the extended one. I watched the one I rented from my store. I opened it and stuff because it's like a what's it called a DVD Blu-ray combo or whatever digital copy thing. And uh, yeah, it's really cool about bank robbers and stuff. It's it's this is a really. I really highly recommend this one for you guys to check out. If you guys are like, I don't like Ben Affleck, I'm like, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on the Kevin Smith side. I, I really do like him and stuff. He's, I don't know. Check, check this one out. The town. Oh yeah, wait. This was like 13 something when I picked it up, and uh, I, yeah, I picked this one up for 12 bucks or whatever it was at Best Buy, and that is the Expendables on Blu-ray, and uh, it's cool. It's nothing. Super spe like it, it's special because all the you know cool guys in there like Jet Li and uh, you know all these Jason Statham and all these guys are in there, and the action's cool. But it's not as cool as I like thought it was gonna be because I I didn't see it until I got it and stuff. And it's it's whatever you know. Well, guys, uh, the next one up is uh, I I hear I heard a lot of you guys talk about and updates and things, and you heard me talk about it in, in past videos with Gabriel and stuff. It was on sale for like ten dollars at the time at Best Buy, and that was the Human Centipede. I still have yet to open it. I don't know. I heard there's a sequel to this being made, and uh, I don't know. This looks like someone, a bunch of people's heads shoved up people's butts. I don't know. It could be cool. It was put out by with IFC Films and stuff. I don't know. A lot of people on the line are saying it's pretty cool and creepy and weird and shit. So I'll give it a chance one day. And uh, as I see here. These next couple movies were on sale at uh, Best Buy for $7.99. And they are uh, Crashing Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Picked it up at Best Buy because it was so cheap. And uh, that is, the next one is House of Flying Daggers for $7.99. If you guys go to Best Buy, you know that little sale they had or still have. And uh, Leon to Professional, I think I've seen this a long time ago, but I really don't remember it, but I know Natalie Portman's in it, so it can't be all that bad. And, of course, The Karate Kid, and yeah, one of my favorite all-time uh, movies. It looks pretty good on Blu-ray, man. I didn't have any gripes about it, and I thought the transfer was cool. Like, I wanted to get the box set with both of them, you know, one and two in it, when it first came out. And then I'm like, that's fucked up. Why didn't you put, you know, all of them in their box set? Or at least the first three, you know, or four, or whatever it is. 
Let's put two. What the fuck? But yeah, Karate Kid Blu-ray, good picture quality on that one. Uh, but from good picture quality onto a movie that doesn't even need to be on Blu-ray. I mean, it's a, it's it's a good it's it's it was an entertaining movie and everything, but there's no need to buy it on Blu-ray. You can get that shit on DVD, and it's it'll be the same the same thing. You're not missing it out on picture quality at all. And uh, I picked it up for seven ninety nine or whatever it was at uh, CD Trader. It was fourteen ninety nine, and I had a seven ninety nine coupon to take you know to get off, and that was Catfish. I got it for uh, yes, like I said, seven dollars and something cents. The only thing is, it has one of those little cuts in the the barcode right here. I don't I don't give a damn. But yeah, it doesn't need to be on Blu-ray. But it's really cool about a a relationship a guy has with a girl over the internet and. And and he get, he goes kind of too far with it and goes to visit her, and shit you know and it's just the shit that unfolds when he when he goes to visit her, and uh, unless you know you go there and it's not exactly what you think you know what you picture in your mind that it's gonna be, but yeah catfish, I picked it up like you know a week or two before it even came out, and uh, this one was on sale at Best Buy too, but I forgot what the price was I know it was like seven bucks or less because I. Probably wouldn't have spent any more on it for it. It was a good, it's a cool movie. Nothing like the holidays. You know, about this family that runs a bodega. And uh, the dad has, you know, something to tell the family. And the family, like the, you know, family issue problems, stuff around the holiday type of movie. It's cool. Louis Guzman and uh, John Leguizamo, Deba Messing, and Freddy Rodriguez and stuff. It's, it's a cool movie. It, it's alright. I like it. It's a DVD digital copy thing. I mean, Blu-ray digital copy thing. <laughs> and the next up is another one I picked up. It was, I think it was on sale. It was like twelve bucks or more, twelve bucks, fifteen bucks or something. Grown ups. I think there's like a DVD combo. But I don't care. There's probably like an extra special feature or two on it. I thought this movie was okay. It's not Ad one of Adam Sandler's best from you know Happy Madison or whatever it is. Wait, is it even Happy Madison? Yes, it is Happy Madison. Sue me. Um. Yeah, there's some pretty I like there's some pretty funny jokes in here, like the whole kid and the you know, being a little bit too old to be on the mama's titty and shit, but he's on the titty anyway. That stuff is pretty funny and yeah, there you know, it's it's whatever. I can, I can see why it made a lot of money because all the people that are in it and stuff. It's not <laughs> not the greatest or anything, but it's it's fun. It's fun to check out. Grown ups. And next up it was on sale for some it was real cheap at Best Buy. And uh, Fame, the extended edition, the extended dance edition. Brendan, why would you buy that shit? I like that shit. Brendan, what the fuck? Hey, I like musicals. I like stuff like dancing and shit. You guys can sue me. <laughs> and uh, next up is uh, the DVD, Blu-ray, digital copy I picked up off of Amazon. It was real cheap, like under uh, less than 10 bucks, I believe, if I can remember right. The lottery ticket. I thought it was fun. There's a lot of people at my work that are not not liking it. I'm like, I can see why people don't like this movie, but I like my you know independent you know comedy movies and shit. It's not really independent, but you know what I mean. I like my little low budget you know comedy movies, and that's just one with a little bit more money in it. <laughs> I picked these up because they were ten bucks a piece right when they first came out at uh, Walmart, and I I love Tyler Perry, so I picked up Medea Goes to Jail. Medea's Family Reunion, which I really like a lot. This one's really good. Diary of a Mad Black Woman, his first one that he did, his first feature. And one of my favorites, Why Did I Get Married? Uh, the first one is my favorite one of his. And uh, yeah, they're all 10 bucks at uh, Walmart, so I'm like, screw it, I'm getting it. I think that was a little bit, be I got these ones a little bit before Black Friday and stuff, so yeah, I had these ones for a while now. I didn't even open this one yet, the, my favorite one yet, but whatever. I rambled enough right now. I showed you most of the Blu-rays I picked up over the past month or two or more, and uh, there's more. There's more to show. I'll, like I'll make videos. I'll see. You, I'll make another DVD update, Blu-ray update in about two weeks or so, like I said. And uh, holy shit! Hold on, hold on. There they are. <laughs> Right here, all the ones I just shown you in the video, I didn't really talk about like the movies themselves really. I just wanted to get through all this crap because I they haven't done updating forever. And uh, yeah, I still have fucking these DVDs to go through. And uh, 
there's like all this other crap. Hold on, let me show you here. There's like, see all this stuff right here on the floor, guys? Like, there's all this, these stacks, these stacks, and this stack right here that's on the floor right there, and there's some on my movie table that's over there that I haven't <sighs> shown yet, and uh, I, I, I even, you know, took some, hold on, some Blu-rays out here, you know, stacks of, you know, Blu-rays out here so I can make room right here to put my camera. Because, like, here's some of my, my Blu-rays I have here. All my stacks of, you know, Blu-rays. You know, I'm just panning through them really quickly. Nothing, you know, so like, that's just the space. I'm gonna, it's, already, it's filled up already. And there's some up there that goes down here. And there's, they're all over the fucking place. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, get some of these out of the way. So now I can put these ones, the stack right here that I just shown you, you know, and fit them into my... You know, my space is my space over here, or whatever. So sorry, I'm just like shaking the camera like it's Cloverfield up in this motherfucker. But yeah, thank you guys for coming by, and I'll probably put a DVD version. You know, I'll 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 make a quick little DVD update with this other stack of just regular DVDs, and I'll like I'll tack it on to the video that's run on that comes on after this one. So I'm gonna stop rambling now because you're probably like Brendan, shut the fuck up. And I'll see you guys in a, few, a day or two, and I'll show you some of the DVDs I picked up. Later!